Hi guys, you're welcome back to another Android programming tutorial. We'll be talking about Android material chips. Chips represent complex entities in small blocks such as contacts. A chip may contain entities such as a photo, text rules, an icon, or a contact. We'll be focusing on contact chips, uh, which represent contact information in a compact way. I'll be moving straight to Android Studio while I have the source file of this demo. Right there in Build Gradle, the model app session, we're going to include a dependency, which is the GitHub Doodle Scheduling Android Material Chips. So we're going to be using some uh, methods and classes from this particular library. From there, you synchronize Gradle and get your application set and ready to use some of those methods. Right there in the layout, we have two XML layouts, the activity main and the item checkable content because we're going to create a sort of list with checks. So that's why the item checkable content XML came to play. Right there in the activity main, let's just do a rundown of what we have there. It's a linear layout with a layout with an item match parent. Orientation, vertical, background color, is paper. So this is calling from the color XML. Another linear layout right inside here, which makes which makes it a nested layout. With the layout with tonight, match parent and wrap content respectively. There's a padding to the left, which is 16 dp, and an elevation of 6 dp. The orientation and background set appropriately where the orientation is horizontal and the color to the background is also paper we'll get to look at that a text view follows no that acts an android text of two as to where that's we're trying to create a sort of contact list whereby you can easily use to send uh book mails now look at this tag become the doodle android chips chips view this particular tag calls on the chips view class from the library. Very important. We assign an ID to it called CV underscore contacts with a layout with an ID match parent and wrap content. There's an over scroll mode which is never, and the app CV maximum height we assign and the maximum height to it and the and the vertical spacing for the maximum height is 120 dp while the vertical spacing 2 dp. Now, these are some other customization you can actually do to this particular library. You can assign the background color. You can even assign background color when clicked. The color for the font. The color of the font when clicked. Icon place placeholder. You can even have an icon delete, which you call from the drawable. You can have a dialog title, dialog confirm, and dialog cancel. These are all features right there for use in the chips library. We have a closing linear layout, and we have an Android support widget recycler view because the list is going to come out in a recycler list with an idea of RV contents. Let's get to look at the item checkable contents. There's a linear layout with the Android orientation of horizontal and the background is drawable, which is the BTN underscore trans. We'll get to look at that. We have a checkbox because I mentioned earlier we'll be using checkbox. We assign an ID to it called CB contact selection layout with an ID wrap content. The text view, which has a two stacks of example at domain dot TLD. That's like a, do a dummy mail address with a closing linear layout. I'll be going to the Java class. We have only one Java class here, which is the main activity. Let's get to understand how to use the chips view library. The main activity extends our compact activity, whereby we have three fields, which are all private fields, M content from the recycler view class. M adapter from the contest adapter and the M cheese view from the cheese view library. The uncreate method call on the super state. We set the content view to the activity main. 
Now we're initializing this uh, fields created by, by calling the ID of contacts, passing it to them contacts. We set the layout manager on this contact by instantiating with a new layout manager based on the main activity class. We also instantiate the M adapter, you know, using instantiated the new contact adapter, passing it to the M adapter. Now we set the adapter to the contact and pass the M adapter as its parameter. We initialize the ship's view ID, which is the CV contact. Now we're going to change the edit text configuration. What about we get the edit text? We set the cursor to feasible based on the chip's view, which is uh, the private chip's view we create over here. Now we set the chip's validator on the contact. So if the contact get the display name equals, which is the dummy mail we passed into the item checkable, it's going to return for us and also still return the value. We have the set chips listener. What about we have a method in it on chip added? That's once a chip by uh, checking one of the uh, contact list, it's going to actually trigger this chip added method. So there's a for each loop. So that's for each item on the chips view that is going to get the chips. And it's just going to log the chip list and uh, concatenate it with the chip item, which is actually going to be converted to string. So now we have on chip deleted. We have on text changes. You can easily change the text too by double clicking on the selected chip, which is actually going to uh, st stick up. So once you double click, you have the access to edit the text. We have contact adapter that extend the recycler view adapter, which are calls on the generic checkable contact view order. Now we have an array string, which is actually going to depict uh, the recycler list of each contact. You know, these are all email addresses formats. Which is also the list. We have the contact adapter constructor. Uncheckable contact view order. That's once the uh, contact list is being checked. This is what the view order is actually doing. And it's going to bind the view order to the checkable contact view order based on this position. Now it's going to get the item count, which is going to return the filtered list size. We have the filter items, which is actually uh, sitting right there at the top. Now if the text utilities is empty, based on the text passed in, the collection is going to add all filter lists. Else, a for loop will run through here, a for each loop for a string object s to the data so s contains the text the feature list is going to add s which is the string so in here the notify data set change method is being called i think we've talked about this method now let's continue we have the get item view whereby this returns a math calculation to the filter list you get the position and the hash code now let's see how the checkable contact view order extends the recycler view and it implements the on click this now this is a different class entirely now we have two fields the name and the selection from the checkbox class we create an a constructor right here now we initialize the name and the selection based on the ID of the content name and the content selection. We set on click listener to the selection. 
and set on click list now also to the item view. So in our on click, what will happen? We create a, an email string that actually get the text and convert to string of the name being passed into it. And also we create an image URI or URL object based on the match random method of the HTTP link being passed. Now if the selection is checked, mchips view is going to have the chip based on the email, image URI, contact, and so on. Now this is just a simple demo based on uh, the contact list, how to actually use the chips library to select multiple contents, probably for upward uh, transfer of messages or something else. You can actually use it for pictures as well, not only contact alone or string data. You can use it for integers and some other data types. Let's get to look at the manifest. Thus, we need the Android permission, the internet. And uh, we have our main activity right locked in as the launcher activity of this particular application. I'll be showing you the screencast of this uh, tutorial. And then I'll employ you to lay your hands on the source file, which I'll be uploading to my GitHub account. And uh, stick by, don't go anywhere. We still have a lot to talk about in Delaware Studios. Thank you, my good listeners, for hanging out with me throughout the session. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.